<coughs> Hello guys Hola. Let's try this again Hello Evergreen, how are you? Hope you're great um, still doing a few tests here to see, to make sure that uh, everything is uh, good. Though for some reason, my doesn't seem like everything is showing up. Ah, I think we're good. I think we are good. Hey, unknown, how are you? How are you? How have you been? It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, I, I, I want to get back into streaming because uh, it was fun interacting with you guys. It was always fun. Hey, Mikori, how are you? Glad to see you again. Uh, yeah, nice to see that uh, some of you are still here. I uh, watching after a long time. Hope you are okay. Yeah, I've been, I've been okay. I've been, I've been great. And I uh, hope you guys are doing great as well. Yeah, so let's start by trying to make something like this. And uh, I'm going to run, try and run through this. Yeah. I'm going to be using the compositor, I think, quite heavily for this. Yeah, pull out a few techniques to pull this off. So, What have you guys been uh, working on, if you care to share? Guess I should have my shortcuts. Uh, yeah, anyway. You can let me know if uh, everything is working fine. It's been a while since I last streamed, so I can't really be sure. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's see how this looks here. Get some rings. I think to get that detail through, we might want to actually add that detail directly. I, I would normally just uh, use a bump map, but uh, I don't think it would work very well here. And I think I've worked on this project before, but uh, I didn't like the results. So that's why I'm trying it again to see. Just going to have this ring in here. Use the spin tool. Okay. Hey Kapil, how are you? How are you? How are you? How have you been? It's been a while, it's been a while. How are you doing? Me. Great bro, about yourself. I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine. Yeah, took a break from streaming for a while, but uh, I want to get to, I want to get back to it. I want to get back to it and uh, just to talk to you guys and see how things go. Anything new that I missed? 
I mean, I've been around, but uh, yeah. Really cool to see you live again. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I think I'll be streaming at least twice a week because I, I, uh, I want to be focusing on uh, VODs or like uh, videos more than live streaming, but uh, I don't want to just give up on live streaming either. So. add a volume hey Vika Tesh how are you how are you doing sorry if I'm butchering your name glad to see you joining us Yeah, Kapil, you haven't told me what have you been uh, working on lately? Anything exciting? And uh, Unknown 3D, if you're still here. And uh, Nikori, have you guys worked on anything else? Anything new and evergreen? Uh, volume. I want a principal volume. Enjoying your stream after a long time? Yeah, I know, man. I know. Now I'm glad you are enjoying it. Yeah, it's been a while. Daily one video, one live video. I, I don't think I can do live streams daily anymore, but I, at least we, we could try three a week and see. But it will also uh, depend on other reception. But uh, we'll see, we'll try and see. No, I want, uh, let me just use a curve to instance uh, these. Hmm, Evergreen tried to get into geometry nodes. Okay. For a moment there, my internet went off it felt like it was going to go off but i think it's okay now really hard soft uh, to your dedication ah, thank you thank you thank you yeah i like working in blender so it's always fun it's like uh, my hobby like this already let me just resample uh, the curve here and, uh, I don't want to have this intersect I don't know if it's okay to have the intersection but uh, let me just uh, I don't want too much intersection there. So let me do a set position here and just randomize the offset a bit. Twice a week is also good, no problem, but a live stream should be, should
should be done. Uh, totally, totally, yeah. I think so. I wanted to randomize the, is it the Z or the, yeah, the Z, but, uh, What other things do you want to see on the channel? Uh, I will share link in uh, Discord in a bit. Ah, do, do, please. It's nice, nice. Uh, let me see, does Nightbot work? Okay, I want to have this big area light in the back as well. So uh, I guess uh, let me just add another circle like this. And uh, I'm just going to give this a translucent material, maybe. I could use an emissive one. Right, let's see, if I use emission, it looks okay, but uh, because it's emitting light, we're going to have, I don't know, let me see. Compare this to translucence. Yeah, I think I, I like translucence more. I'm just going to reduce the angle for this, the spread for this to something like 30 and uh, change this to a disc. Yeah, so that is in the center. That make it very powerful, I guess, and uh, maybe smaller. Now, this shouldn't cast any shadows. The visibility, um, what is that shadow yeah and I can come back to this slide just okay after a long time sir to decan ah oh you changed your name ah, how have you been how have you been hello Alex how are you as well Okay, uh, we need smaller rings here, so I'm going to scale this down. I like that. And uh, I think, let me go to geometry nodes back a bit and just expose this uh, count so I can uh, Change the value of that if I want. Okay, I think I can also expose uh, the scale. Just be a float. Hmm. Hey, Fadi. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm back. Definitely. That, that I'm loving it. Thank you guys for the love. Have you tried geometry simulation? No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I think uh, when, when I tried it, uh, I, th I think it was buggy. Has some had some issues, so I didn't really do much with it. Have you tried it? But I've seen a few demos of it and uh, really looks amazing. Let me see. Let me first remove this and see. I want to create really, really sharp lights like this. I think you have to make this 
spread really small like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm liking, I'm starting to like how this is starting to look. And uh, maybe this ring is uh, bigger. I'm doing great, Fadi. I'm doing great. How are you? How, how about you? How has, when was the last time I streamed? I don't remember. Has it been like uh, six months? Oh no, I, I, it can't be six months. I think it was, uh, I don't really remember very well. Okay. Let me duplicate this. Cause I want to create a spotlight like this that has the same effect like this. But I think the only way to do that is uh, if I have instances of uh, this spotlight, uh, like these rings here. So let me go back to geometry nodes and uh, just replace this with uh, the light, the area, area light. Make sure this is as an instance. One inch. Make the make wall to stop light going through it. Make wall to stop light going through it. I'm not sure I understand. Around the window? Oh, you mean uh, the light around the window? Yeah, like, uh, you mean like uh, something like this? Shift D. Yeah. But uh, I think. Trying to find the right way to create uh, these light streaks. Because if I reduce the spread, maybe let me reduce the I think they are too powerful. The light is becoming a bit too powerful here. And uh, stained glass. Uh, stained glass where?
You know what? I think I'm just going to go with a single light. It's easier to, ha to control. Okay, uh, the glass in the window, make it stained glass, so like uh, more roughness with a bump. Uh, that's what I said, one, s one single light, man. Uh, one single light, yeah, I think one single light uh, makes it easier to control. Now, let's, uh, we can come back to the lighting a bit later. Uh, we can build on top of the, we can add more details to the building and uh, maybe make the scene more bigger now this instead of using this I'm going to use yeah the emission And uh, we can start adding in detail. Let me get some arcs. Pillars, maybe? Ah, yeah. Something like structures. These structures. Lack some structures. Interesting. Make it colored too. Uh, make what colored? That was my image. Make what colored? Ready? Apply a glass texture to the window uh, for more detail. A glass texture, yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. I think I do have stained glass actually. I, I was getting confused about what you, what you meant. But I think uh, I finally understand. So, I, mean, I do have stained glass. Mm. Stained glass. Let me see. Let me just find some on uh, on Google. Stained glass. Hey, Fadat, how are you? How are you? Glad to see you. Oh, this this is what you're talking about, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was just confused what you meant. Uh, if I could get something like this, I think it would look really good. But, uh, we'll just use whatever we can get our hands on. Uh, how big is this? Not, not too big. How about this? Hey, Thanos. How are you? How are you doing? Let me let me get this. Web P. Uh, 
Okay, good, good. Thought Blender doesn't support that format. So let me do unwrap, perfect. And uh, this is going to be our emission color. Nice, kind of off center a bit. Why is it off center? Hey, thank you for subscribing. Uh, I don't know who that was. Uh, thank you for subscribing, Lens Card, Om Omal, Kira, and Gemel. Thank you, thank you, guys. Yeah. Actually, I think I can even use this because uh, I can use this as uh, trans for transparency as well. So we can have a transparency shader. So I can pull this as the alpha. There's a ramp to create uh, an alpha mask here. go to EV4 bit here just make sure I turn on uh, alpha clip is it alpha clip yeah alpha clip I think go box cycles and uh, this should be the opposite should be like that is it actually it shouldn't be huh mm. actually I think we, we we have to do this let me see let me see uh, we have to have two of these. One is just going to be used to to block. To block the light. Yeah, like that. And uh, the other one should doesn't need to have any alpha. It can just be like that, and uh, would have no shadow. Yeah. Are you modeled this in Blender? Yeah, we are working in Blender. Let me see, can I increase the sample count for the viewport denoising? For the viewport. Let me make sure I'm saving this. We are in uh, May. Called, call this scene one. I'm not sure what to, to name it. Okay, I want the, the character to be visible. Okay, uh, thanks for the love, thanks for the likes. 
Oh yeah, let's see. What what else could we add? Let's go back to the asset library. Look at uh, some of these. Oh, I wanted to add some details here. I think there is light coming from above, so I'm going to add an area light. Kind of has a blue tint to it. So. Not too bright. Yeah, something like that. And uh, this light doesn't, I think, let's see if we, because I don't want it to affect the volumetric that much, though I like, I kind of like the, the effect it's giving off. I think that's how you get that effect, but I, I don't like how it uh, looks in this. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I like that better. What GPU are you using in Dwena? Uh, you can use specs, though I'm not sure if uh, this code is working. Let me sh just show you here. I'm using a. I'm using a, what am I using? Oh. This, I'm using a 3070 for my GPU. Let me just render this quickly out because I'm not seeing enough, enough samples in the viewport. So let me render this out for like 30, like uh, for 30 seconds. And uh, I don't think we are using all this space. Okay, maybe 30 seconds was too much. Let's try 15 seconds. I'm also planning to buy an RTX 4080 for my 3D renders. Oh, nice, nice. How much? Uh, how are you? How much are you going to invest in that? I use a 3070 Ti, works great. Ah, nice. So that's how it looks. Uh, yeah, I can see that uh, uh, the light rays are coming through, so that's nice. Let's see, what else can we do? Now uh, we want some extra details on the walls, so yeah. So I'm just going to add some more details. I think someone suggested pillars. I don't know if I have a pillar. What about column? I guess they are the same thing. Yes, we just need
let me go to my rom hmm. can you um make the light angle software uh okay so you mean the spread yeah so to soften the shadows a bit i guess I think we need to make this bigger, uh, the ring bigger, because you can see it takes about 50, most of the space. So let me bring back my outliner here and just select all the rings that make this up. Bring that up. Bring the light up and uh, I think it's somewhat like that. Push these details. This is a wider camera, like a Okay. Uh, I think this light is too much. need to add in extra detail to make this look grander like massive and Now I want to try to see how this is, how this could look with the compositor. Uh, let's do some color correction. Mm. Um. Uh, let's see in the shadows, we want some more green. Ah, uh, this. I'm looking at, uh, let me see. Let me just use the color wheel. Maybe add some glare. Still, uh, limitations. 
so there are not a lot of nodes to work with and I'm just going to re reduce this a bit anyway you know I think uh, we should do some lighting practice let's let me see let's see how this as this is rendering uh, let me look at uh, other images we could uh, work on Are you waiting for the price to drop? How much are they where you are right now? Ah, you know what? I don't hate this. This looks uh, okay. I think we just need to spend a little bit more time on this to make it look good. Add extra details and uh, maybe bring this character. Somewhere like that. Yes. So let's see, let's see what we can definitely make this look good. Uh, I just we just need more things to, to help populate this. Maybe have these steps. I don't really have a lot of medieval stuff, I guess. Yeah, have this thing here. I have some candles. Hey Rohit, how are you? Glad to see you joining us. Now, do I remember you? I do remember the name. How are you doing? Great. Ah, nice, nice. Looks like a dam. <laughs> yeah, because of these. Yeah, I kind of, I'm, I'm seeing that too. So, what about there? I think that's much better. I really should work on uh, more medieval assets that I could use for scenes like this.
Let's see how this looks now. Hey, thank you, former, former student, for subscribing. And uh, Gamel, I think, uh, I don't know if I already thank you, but uh, thank you guys for subscribing. And therefore, uh, with 43 likes, I appreciate that. Okay, um, okay, not bad, not bad. When I create a scene like this, and it's already to render, my GPU sucks. It's sucks, sucks it. Say out, out of memory. Oh, uh, that, that's usually, uh, if you have a lot of 4K textures, uh, you can try, if you're using cycles, you can go to simplify and uh, just limit uh, the texture size and see if uh, that would help. You know what? Let me just work on details we could use here because uh, Let's see, let's see. Let me start with a uh, plane. I suppose give this a uh, brick material from my library. Ah, I want to create something that would be in a medieval scene like this. Hey, thank you for subscribing. What was that? Info box in. in. Uh, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. I have a GTX 750. It's affordable for Blender. Yeah, but it's... Yeah, you're going to struggle a bit with, uh, with that. Most of the scenes, you can't do a lot with uh, a 750. I remember I had it a few years ago. And uh, yeah, that would be a bit of a struggle to work with. Back with the tongue twister, I saw, ah, oh, I remember you now. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she sit, where she sits, she shines and where she shines, she, she, <laughs> she sits. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, now I remember you uh, with your tongue twisters. How have you been? Okay, so let's see. Let's see how we we can include this in the scene. Yeah, I guess I could have a candle. Actually, I don't even need the entire candle I can just I only need this flame I'm sure if it's visible okay 
Now this I can try to duplicate. Yeah, and uh, I think we can have point lights or area lights in here. Just to add some Maybe not that much. Yes, just to have some light. Something like that. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Uh, that was uh, Oleg Pavlenko. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Minhaz. Sajib, how are you? Let me know who is still using a laptop. I have a laptop, but uh, I rarely use it for Blender now because it would definitely struggle. Let me just wrap shift D, apply uh, visuals to mesh. Yes. I want some background characters here. Oh, this, these are floating. My, my PC was 10 years old, i5, uh, fourth generation, but recently I upgraded to a Ryzen 9. Ah, nice. Okay, let's see how this renders now. Ah, the textures are uh, flipped the wrong direction. Problem is, let me see if I just scale up the the volumetric the volume. Oh, thank thank you guys for subscribing. Tactical Predator, thank you as well. I'm going to. Let me see, can I just use the same material for all of these?
have these uh, assets from mega scans so let's use them because uh, there's no way i'm going to model the assets required for this project Actually, let me try yeah I think that's yeah that's much better I'm just going to grab all of these and just This one should use Hey Jithin, how are you? Glad to see you back. How have you been? Are you coming live tomorrow? No no no. Uh I'm um, uh, I don't know when I'll be streaming again, but uh, yeah, we, we, we will be streaming, but uh, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow, because I have to do some work. I'm from Uganda, that's in uh, East Africa. One thing I don't want is uh, this to be part of the volumetric, so... Mm, though I think it's should be, it just shouldn't be that bright. Okay, let's add some more stuff from Let's see how this looks now.
Hey, you going to be lazy because the time is 61 minutes and uh, going to patience with us. Mm. Hey, you going to be <laughs> lazy because our time is 61. I'm, I'm not sure what you mean. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Mm, so that's uh, where we are. I think it's starting to look good. Let's see, we just need to, because uh, the one looking at the ground here is, uh, we don't have, we lack detail. So, could add, add some. And uh, we have some steps here, so I could uh, use those. And, uh, maybe even can uh, just Or oh, oh, having some smoke at uh, ground level as reference. Smoke at, oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, and I'm going to change the angle of this light to yeah, something like that. Yeah, maybe move this character like he's uh, an actual explorer. That maybe this is water. I have thing shots. Um, yeah. Let me see. Let me see if I can enable. If I have the add-on sh shortcuts. If that's what you are asking for. Yeah, shortcuts are there now. Let me see. Sync. Ah, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, maybe. This could uh, look better if it's water. You know, I think I'm going to start using uh, mega scan assets way more often than I've always wanted because they get you results faster.
than if you try to make everything yourself. Make it more ambient with some more light. Oh, I see. Okay. Let me first make up uh, this pillar here. ambient light ah someone suggested we add a smoke like uh, we have here so I guess we could uh, add another volume object Principal volume. Now one cloud. Let me get some noise. Connect that to the strength okay, let me just use a ramp Math node. Let me see, do I have some clouds in here. Hmm. Oh, the treadmill broke again. Think the MCB is dead at this time. Ah, oh, man, sorry about that. I remember t t telling you you should just buy a new one. Ah. So what was because I remember you added in a new thing. I don't remember what had broken that uh, you, you you bought and uh, added in. Was it uh, the one that broke? Show the room a bit more, or maybe render it. Oh, let me render it. Outside is for driving only. <laughs> Aye. Mm. 
Okay, this is not too bad. Um, the scale of this stone is a bit too big and uh, they are not very detailed. Let me see, for some reason, could it be actually there? Yeah, true, been looking for a new one, but I uh, want a fancy one uh, this time. But also by game. Uh, what what uh, budget are you looking are you looking at at this time? I think we need some light around here. And, uh, I'm just going to grab this, shift the uh, and create some yeah light up some of that. Maybe just. If he's an explore, explorer, should, he should have a torch. Ah, a torch. Do I even have one? I think I had one, but I'm not sure where I have it. The last one was 300 or so. So around there, ah, three hundred is uh, not too expensive, I guess. Okay, All right. let's add some grass and trees. Doesn't really. Oh, by the way, the original one looks like a smoke image, uh, like a smoke. I even forgot about that. So, yeah, it doesn't look a three-dimensional as well. I think, yeah, you might be right. We could uh, instead of using a smoke image, I'm just going to use. Let me see. I'm going to use. Um, let's try an emission and transparency. But uh, we want to use a noise texture. Connect that into the emission. Hmm. Yeah, this this doesn't really look bad in uh, EV either. And alpha blend, no shadows. Let's go back to cycles. Ramp. Increase the detail, increase the roughness. Like that but the issue is this is that uh, the edges you can see the edges are kind of very sharp for this so I'm going to use a gradient uh, let's use our spherical it should be in the center uh, if I use 
object mapping like that but I want it to stretch it on the X as well and on the Y somewhere like that and I'm just going to subtract using a math node subtract this yeah so we end up with something like that we end up with a basic cloud like that now we can use that as our mask and this should be the inverse now since uh, I can also use object let me straight this a bit on the X so if I duplicate this you can see uh, Ah, uh, we're not really getting. Ah, uh, I want to get variations of this noise every time I move this mesh around. Uh, but because I said this, the mapping of uh, the sphere, the sphere, uh, the gradient uh, to object is just going to stay in one area. So I'm going to set this to UV. We should move this under and I can now unwrap this and uh, in the UV setting, in the UV editor, and just, just rotate this and make sure it, yeah, so right, it's in the center. Yeah. So now if I duplicate this, ah, uh, yeah, I can get some variation. I can get yes sort of different noise details like that they look more faded than mine so I guess uh, the detail is less and uh, the emission is also Not super strong, so you can see. Hopefully, that is uh, visible there. Okay, let me render this on the second slot just to do some comparisons. What was the shortcut for you used for mix? Ah, I just hold on out and then just drag. Oh, to to. To mix, you just use Control Shift, and then uh, use your right mouse to drag between the different nodes. And I should be able to mix them. Okay, this is uh, one, two, three, four, and some some of the vegetation is not rendering. Yeah, and the mixing you just use you hold on control shift and then drag right drag from one node to the other and uh, you should mix the nodes like that okay so uh, yeah I was trying to render this again Okay, so this is uh, this is the last one. This is before I you know, added some lighting here, some smoke, and some vegetation. Uh, these tones look very bare. Ah, uh, no problem, man. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, let me see. Let's see how we can improve this this tone. Okay, I think I'm going to use geometry nodes. Uh, let's see, we can. Add some moss 
in these areas here. So what I can do is, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just look at the wireframe. Mm -hmm. I can use volume to mesh to volume, mesh to volume. Mm -hmm. Like that, and then volume to mesh, volume to mesh, to mesh. Alright, let me see. Let me see, let me see. We want grass in these areas here. So the best way we could do that is uh, just get the edge angle. And I just delete geometry, delete points. Where are the edge angle? Uh, if we use a compare node here, is uh, greater than a certain threshold. But, uh, we don't have enough geometry on this, so I'm going to use a subdivide, subdivide mesh. Yeah, that leaves us with something like that. But I actually want the opposite of this, so less than. Actually, I want greater than. Okay, so with this, we can, we can create some grass I guess I can use no actually if I have that hmm do I have any I'm going to go to botanic uh, look for some grass assets we have shrubs, tropical, uh, weed. Let me see what could we use. We could use this maybe. Ah, uh, grass. I just want a patch of grass. I uh, like this maybe. Yeah, and uh, maybe this. And uh, maybe something like... Uh, this perfect these three should be enough i'm just going to have them in a collection called uh, grass and now i can bring that collection in here i'm going to distribute points Distribute points on faces and then instance on faces. No, instance on points, not on faces. No, on. Instance on points. Okay, since we have too many points,
Okay, Blender was... I think I added too many points uh, that uh, Blender wasn't responding. Let me see. Uh, unfortunately, we have lost most of that work, but uh, that's okay. We can do it again. To isolate these geometry nodes. Delete. I'm going to delete geometry uh, by edge angle. So compare. Again, we don't have enough points, so I'll use a subdivide, a subdivide mesh, just so I can have more points. And uh, distribute points on faces. Yeah, you can see we had way too many points. Just need a few like that. Then instance on points. What's your age? I'm uh, I, don't, I think I'm making 30, 32, something like that. I don't know. I don't like to think about it too much. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me bring back our grass. We want some of this and some of uh, this. Let's not use too much. So, uh, okay, okay, okay. And now I don't know. Okay, let's bring in the grass collection. Instance. Not yet, man. Not yet. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. Have the grass it might be facing the wrong direction. So you can see our grass again. We let me use a random. Yes. And uh, I need to align the rotation. Separate children, pick instance. Yeah. I still need less. And, uh, if I bring back the original mesh, you can see we have some nice moss growing on this. And I think I need to randomize the scale of these random value. And uh, actually, I think instead of using face angle, I can use uh, uh, the position as uh, the normal and just separate, use the separate node. 
to just get to just get our faces pointing up i just need to make sure that i'm getting the right direction let me look at this hmm. interesting i'm also getting these anyway the can reduce on the probability okay I think that's much better and uh, can duplicate this there and uh, can also make sure that this also has the same modifier so it gets the grass maybe this also gets some grass there now let's see Okay, not too bad. Maybe we could uh, scale up the other uh, grass a bit. A bit more. And maybe, let me also add more grass different style maybe this long grass and uh, I don't know um this okay scene is becoming a bit heavy so uh, I don't know this uh, should not be there okay let's see scale now looks a bit too bad and uh, I think uh, the rotation should also be fixed so let me do a vector math and uh, do uh, randomize the scale a bit could do a little bit more on this mm. what do you guys think what, what what could we add to to make this look more I don't know that uh, let me see 
think the water needs more texture. More detail. So let me try a different. Yeah, the, the water reflections feels weird. I yeah, I thought too. Can you create a Last of Us inspired environment? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we could try that in the next live stream. I think starting to look good, look better, like the rock detail. Well, the best thing I can think of is adding dust particles. Ah, that's dust particles. Ah, the dust particles. How would I do that? How do I do, do, do dust particles? Maybe like a lens effect or something. I'm not. A dust particles. Yeah, I'm just confused on uh, what you mean. The meaning there. Can you suggest any technique to transfer a, an environment, a whole environment with textures and lighting? to Unreal Engine with uh, all texture maps. There is an add-on for that, but uh, it may not do everything as uh, you expect it. I think it's called Unreal Bridge or something. I don't remember very well, but uh, there is an add-on for that. I think I can use, because this middle area lacks I think still lacks a bit of detail. Maybe I could uh, add rocks. You can use a particle system to generate an icosphere and uh, use a cam for focus. Ah, yeah, I think we, we can try that uh, next time, but uh, for now, um, yeah, I'm going to give this a break and uh, see you in the next live stream. I think the next live stream is going to be on uh, Friday, uh, yeah, uh, today is Wednesday. Oh, I thought today was Monday. <laughs> Um, so, la, 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 la. Okay, so my live streams are supposed to be on Monday and uh, Friday, but for some reason I thought today was Monday. I, 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 I really don't know. Uh, anyway, thank you for for showing. Um, how is today, man? How is today Wednesday? Huh? Hmm. Anyway, thank you guys. Uh, thank you for 66 likes, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next live stream.